as per our previous uh, video presentation, we have actually featured this house. As for today, we will actually be featuring what are the system that we truly have actually put in place and introduced to you device by device as to what has been linked and what has made this house an automated intelligent forest. Right, first thing first, as per we enter the house itself, entering the door, the switch that you actually, the panel that you actually will be seeing is basically the DLP. Let's have a look at the digital display. We have actually programmed this panel to reception of icons. This page, the number one page, is basically what we call the scene page. As you go along, on the second page is where the blind controls and spare buttons is actually indicated. The third page of the blinds for the bait itself and as well as some other controls. This page we have dedicated to the individual controls of the individual lights. So just in case you need to actually set to another presence, it will actually enable the house owners to be able to control individually. And the unique part of it, we have the AC control. Whereby it indicates the current temperature if you need to actually set to another end. Temperature preset, you can actually turn it down. 21, 2, 23. Alright. So, this panel itself internally is linked by the radio frequency to the main gateway and to the rest of the device. Inside the back panel, basically, you can actually dim directly three lights that we have actually hooked it up. Right. After the digital display panels, which is known as the DLP, we now set to you the next panels that we have actually installed in this place. Basically, the simple iSmart touch pressure sensor switches. It actually controls the dimming, it controls the um, other wireless uh, systems using RF. For example, we have actually programmed the wardrobes, the WC, the basins, and actually we have a dedicated switch for auto on and all off but this panel is only dedicated to the washroom next panel is a dual control we have the control on the TV dial lights which is right above me right now and we have the kitchen lights we have the pendant lights the entrance light in which there are actually a two-way control from the DLP well besides the panels that is actually controlling all the systems we have been talking about wireless devices and gadgets, actuators and so on but allows me to show it to you what we have actually done for this particular house itself Over here what we can see is a control box filled with all the RF or radio frequency actuators that are controlling the roller blinds We have also designed a system override just in case system fails or any of this actuator fail, the owners has the ability, capability to actually switch over to menu and still control the blinds up and down. And lower over here, now we have the zero to tempo dimming actuators that controls all the LED strips. You can see all the drivers we have actually designed for the easy maintenance. The owners will be able to locate it at one glance. Inside this box itself is all the connections. We have a system override as well. Just in case the system fail, this thing can be switched over to menu and the owners are able to further control from here for the on and off. All in all, the place we have also two more relay actuators looks the same as this, whereby it is all controlled by RF and they work together. And so far, technically, this is about it. At this moment, as you can see, all the wireless system is already in place and there's one more gadget that we have that's hidden outside, out of nowhere. If you can spot it in the video, that would be good. If you can't, then I'm sad to tell you that too bad we hide it too well. That is the actuators for what we call infrared emitters that's controlling the AC, the air conditioning. That is also controlled by RF. But in order for that to work, we need to use the DLP, which is a digital display, to have the aircons being able to control. 
The whole house itself is also controlled by iLife app, by HDL, whereby the owners can actually remote access wherever they are, even when they're actually abroad. So that's about all for such a small house with such a smart and intelligent gadgets that's all going around. Hope you enjoyed the presentation and see you in the next round.